and went from worst to first. Now John Farrell is coming out to talk with the home plate umpire Jerry Davis. See, once again here, the Yankees, like a lot of teams, are shifting in the middle of an at-bat. After two strikes, Kelly Johnson went from third base to play the shift over and right. I think they're going to check Pineda. Remember, against the Red Sox, he had what looked like pine tar in his hand. Later said it was dirt, but Farrell is going out to check Pineda. Now they're checking his back. And they're throwing him out of the game. He went to his neck and he said there's something on his neck, so Pineda is being tossed. What do you do? It's clearly something's there on his neck and they checked it out. Yeah. Why would you do that? You know it's against the rules. And you just had a major incident against this very same team and you realize they were going to be looking. I got to believe that that is going to be it. They will wave bye-bye to Hector, bring in Sagwa out of the bullpen, and he'll come in with the sacks full of socks. In the first week of this, we have seen a lot of pitchers giving their equipment to umpires and then walking by immediately. That has not happened with Hector Santiago. As he was coming off the mound here at Guaranteed Rate Field, the umpires have stopped him, Phil Cuzzy, over at the uh, edge of the field. You know, there's a few things in the glove besides sticky stuff. Number one, you can take a look at the eyelets of the glove, and if they're raised, you're maybe scraping the baseball. Or maybe there's something that can scrape the baseball and get extra movement, but it would appear. Asking Jordan Baker to go down and talk with the crew chief, Paul Emmel, about something. Oh boy. Is he calling out a substance on Brian Mattis's arm? Like we saw Will Smith thrown out for a couple of days ago in Milwaukee. Like we saw Michael Pineda suspended for last year in New York. Buck Showalter comes to see. It's going to be an awkward conversation. He's been thrown out of the game. Brian Mattis becomes the second big league pitcher this week. New York got beat. Cleveland two, New York nothing. Tom Candiotti threw a one hitter for his second shutout of the season. Candiotti's no hit bid was spoiled by Mike Easler's leadoff bloop single to center field in the eighth inning. For the game, Candiotti struck out five and walked one. They are inspecting Phil Necro and saying he's either loading up the baseball or something. And Tom Kelly's really getting into it with Dave Phillips and with Tim Cheetah. Dave Phillips took a baseball of Gaylord Perry's mm -hmm. to New York one time. Yeah, checking him all over. I've never seen him do a search like this. Oh, Nico. Quite like this before. <laughs> and he's out of there. He's been kicked out of the game. What did they find in his pocket? I don't know. Oh, left handed bats in his Atlanta Braves lineup. Not sure what this is all about. Freddy Gonzalez. To the home plate umpire, Chris Siegel, and now he's going to bring in the crew chief, Jim Joyce. This is a curious development here. The home plate umpire is asking Jim Joyce something. And Jim Joyce is directing his attention to Will Smith. Checking his glove, and he's been thrown out. Will Smith has been ejected. A foreign substance on the glove. Wow. All right, 
Jim Joyce went right to the wrist, felt the foreign stuff substance, and that's an automatic ejection. And they want the crew chief, Harry Wendelstedt, to come in as well. Joe West is the plate up high. Now Lasorda wants to know what's going on. And so here's Wendelstedt, the crew chief, and he and West will examine Howell's glove. Number one, make a decision. That threw him out of the ballgame. Yeah, look at this. Can you believe this? But obviously, they've got the evidence. Tamati, who's the supervisor of umpires. Lee Mazzilli comes over for a first-hand look. Well, I, to, to be quite honest, Al. Former National League President Chubb Feeney there as well.